Ooh. We good. 827 Big Ticket Morning Show. P103 to ATL's number one for hip hop, RB, and throwbacks. Comedian Miss Pat. I'm good, good. Queen Shamia Morton. Hey, best friend. My good friend Jennifer Williams in the building. What up, Jay? Hi. So, gangsta. She's not just your friend, too. She's our friend. Good morning. Maybe we go back a little good bit. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> I love that's, Jennifer. That's the homie right there. Yes. What's up, sure. homie? So much the homie that uh, when the pandemic was happening, I saw something on my friend's Instagram, and I yes. had to call, like, what is going Ow. on? Everybody was like, hold on, who we need to fight? Who we need to pull up on? Because what? So give me the backstory to what's happening again, so for people who did not know what happened. Okay, for the people that were living under a rock, so <laughs> during the pandemic, <laughs> I put a post up, this guy that I was dating here in Atlanta, his name is Aaron Nichols, he stole my Range Rover. I was getting frustrated because the police was not doing anything. And I said, you know what? I have this platform. So if the police can't help me, maybe the public can help me. And maybe it can, you know, light a fire under them and Mm -hmm. I can get somewhere, maybe get my car back. So I had no idea that it was going to go viral and be so crazy. But once I put up the post, it was nuts because I had so many people, I mean, astronomical amount of people sending me DMs that this mm. man had did something similar. They had he has sold their car, money, what? What? I'm talking about his own family, cousins, aunt, uncles, and even his biological father. Wow. wow. So, so when you say biological, he stole he stole his stepdaddy's car too. He stole his father's <laughs> father. <laughs> well, you know when you hear black people use the word biological, no, that means that the one means that that's his <laughs> donor, right? Yeah. No, because his mom did get uh, remarried, oh, so he okay. does have a stepfather. But no, but his biological dad. Yes. Did, uh, so this whole thing now is now being chronicled in a whole documentary about your experience. Um, so the guy who this Antonio guy. Uh, His name is Aaron. Oh, Aaron, excuse me. The Aaron guy. You were dating him at the time, correct? Well, at the time he saw my Range Rover, we won't we were not necessarily dating. We were dating probably I would say like a year prior, but I had moved to Atlanta, so we were still friends. I was in a process of closing on a home. I had some issues with my closing and I had two vehicles at the time. I had to leave out of town. He offered to basically put my Range Rover in his garage. I had been to his house. He had a four car garage. I didn't think anything of it. Mm. And so was it, his, was it his house? Was it actually that's a, his that's house? a good question. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it was his house. He come to find out he doesn't own the house, but he rents. The <sighs> he house. rents the house. So. So, OK, did he ever in get Canada locked Florida. up for this? Like charges? No. So here's the thing. So the state of Georgia did bring charges against him because stealing someone's vehicle is technically considered a felony. So mm-hmm. his charge was theft by deception, which he has another charge. I don't know what happened in DeKalb County with this charge. So I can't tell you guys everything that happens because you have to tune in to my well, true scam I'll- story <laughs> on Monday on H1. <laughs> Jennifer, well, you at least got to have you seen him since? Okay, so here's the thing. I have seen him, and I saw him recently, and oh my God, I can't even believe this man. He probably was looking for his next victim. Wow. I saw him about three weeks ago. He was walking out of chops. Did y'all speak? I mean, what did y'all even make eye contact? Did y'all what? He's, listen, I believe that he saw me, and he got out of there. Was he in your Range Rover? <laughs> <laughs> I think that Range Rover is probably in another country you ain't or under water or gone. So, so no. he does this because he has no surprise. I didn't get the Range Rover back because I see he has like different aliases. He had, like seven yes. kids that you didn't know about. Like he had this, all this whole other life that you had no idea. No, but see, at the time that I was dating him, I was actually living in LA, mm. and I feel like. You know, it's basically a bi-coastal relationship. So you can get away with a lot of things that probably if I was in Atlanta, I would have picked up all right. Mm. So in this VH1 documentary, are you playing yourself or who's playing you? So it's a documentary. So I'm I'm pretty much telling my story. Okay. Other victims that came forward, they're telling their story as well. But you know how you have recreation. So I said, you know what? Why have somebody else do my recreations yeah. when you do it's it me? So I like that. I do my own. Nice. I like that. Look at you. Uh, well, uh, 
One thing we learned, you got to be careful with them nickels in Atlanta. Brian Nichols killed everybody, and Aaron Nickel is scamming everybody. <laughs> Absolutely. Listen, ladies, because he is still out here, and his name is Aaron Nichols. He's very charming. And Yo, I need to see him. I need to cute? see a picture. She yeah, gonna yeah. show Let's, you. We're gonna, gonna, gonna have to post this. We gotta post out. him as a I'm wanted. I'm not posting him. <laughs> I'm not posting him. <laughs> Why? Because he gonna come over there and scam you, Pat. <laughs> can't nobody scam him. You can't scam the scammer now. Please believe it. Uh, shout out to I'm Jennifer Williams to again. Her documentary comes out Monday on VH1. Uh, what's the title again? My True Scam Story, and it's a two-part series. The first part airs Monday mm-hmm. at 8 p.m. before Basketball Wives, and the second part airs November 13th at 8 p.m. before Basketball Wives. Mm-mm. Do you actually use his photo in this documentary? So here's the thing. We reached out to him because I wanted him to come on a documentary and tell his story and tell the people why, you know, you robbed all these people of X, <laughs> Y, and Z. And you ha- I just want you guys to know this man is a serial con artist. Mm. I have someone on my documentary that he cons her in 1994. Wow. Oh, he's been doing this. Yes, exactly. So I can't believe he he does not light up. I don't understand. uh, Ladies. The FBI came to this lady's job. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. He's kind of like, catch me if you can. Oh, wow. But you... They show his picture, but it's a line through it because he didn't sign the release, right. nor did he come on and tell his story. But mug, if you if he has a mugshot, that's like public domain, right? You can use that, right? Yeah, you can you can tell it's him. And his okay. dad, well, his dad comes on and he brings his baby pictures, and you'll see. Wow, Ooh, I can't wait to see this. Monday, baby. eight p.m. on mm. VH1. Make my my true scam scam story. Yes, That's my crazy. true scam story. I'm so glad nobody made a documentary about me. It ain't oh, too coming. late. I was going to say, it's, <laughs> might be next, yeah, sis. Oh, here scamming she people. Used to. Might be next. Well, I'm yeah, saved I'm going to say she used to. Um, I, I'm going to say she used to. Well, guess what? It's not how you start, it's how you finish. Amen. Well, Jennifer, I don't know if she finished yet. So. Jennifer Williams, is, I guess, this one is <laughs> talking about what's happening with Basketball Wives LA and other things going on with her. Y'all don't go too far. More with her. In the Big Ticket Morning Show next on V103. Big Ticket Morning Show on V103, the ATL's number one for hip hop, RB, and throwbacks. Jennifer Williams is our guest this morning. Hi. Got brand new documentary on Monday, My True Scam Story, uh, which is still kind of crazy to hear. Do you ever think back, as you, especially as you put this documentary together, and be like, I can't believe it happened to me? Yes. I mean, when I was going through it, I was just like, God, why me? Like, I've been in enough bad, dysfunctional relationships. But then I had to think about it from a different lens. And I said, why not me? Because he's been doing this to plenty of people. And maybe I'm the one that can do something about it. So Mm. I looked at it as being bigger than me, bigger than my Range Rover. For me, I was able to, to bounce back. But there's a lot of people on this documentary and some that are not on the documentary whose lives he really has ruined. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Were there any signs like thinking back or did you have like, like, Oh, you know what? I should have known then when he did X, Y, Z. You know, I thought about it because I was like, okay, how did I, how did I not see this? But honestly, I tell people this, he has been doing this for over two decades, right? So mm. he is a master at his craft and he studies his his craft. He knows people's vulnerabilities. So no, there was there mm. were not any signs that I there's no way I thought I was not gonna get my truck back. Wow. Well, I would have never thought that. Jennifer, it's it's a crazy world out here. You can't trust. I mean, I dated. I've been married a long time. But I even took my pocketbook to the bathroom because somebody stole my welfare check one time. <laughs> oh, so from no. that day on, on a dating ring, I never. But you even slipping now. You sit next to me. You got your pocketbook pre-opened. <laughs> so you wants to get scammed again. Girl, lock your purse so I, I can't, can't get your identity. Stop staring at it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, this is, a, this is right here. The there are things that have come <laughs> up. I thought this was a safe place. <laughs> and you ain't never say snap your pocketbook. There are things that come up missing around here. <laughs> you was telling a lot. Yeah, just, just, uh, really? Where's my, on this side, really? Where's my iPad right, charger? Should have put it on the iPad charger. Best friend, leave it up here, child. Lock your pocketbook down. Um, so, uh, congratulations on your uh, engagement. Thank you. Yeah. 
You Thank engaged. You. I am. He ain't the one, is he? No. No, it's okay. a different one. So he's the one, as in like oh, the he one. He is the like, one, but yes, not the one. he is the one, not that one. Well, we're um, going to need him to replace your Range Rover. Did y'all pick a date? We do have a date. We do have a date. Okay. Oh, you look so happy. I see y'all. Look, you're is glowing. It, is it's it amazing. next year, this I year, am. Next year, this I'm year. really happy. I'm sorry. Is it this year, so next year? It's 2024. Okay. I'm getting married in Paris. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm coming. Well, you don't want yeah. nobody to come to your wedding, do you? <laughs> <laughs> did, Jennifer, did, Southwest don't go to Paris. Did you do all your checks and balances on him? Background checks and everything, best friend. No, we we are we are locked in. We are solid. Okay. We, I know everything about him. I know his family. It's it's yeah. We're good. Okay. All right. Is the is will he or will you or y'all be on basketball wise? He mm. is on basketball wise. Okay. He was on this past Monday. Okay. And he was on the premiere episode. Here's the thing. He was in LA when I was filming and he's very much a part of my life. Got so it. when you're on a reality show, you show your reality. Mm-hmm. That's my reality. Was there any thought process to that? Was there any well, hold on a second. Well, so for him I was like, I'm I'm very protective over the people I love yeah. and I care about. Mm. For us, we've been in this business. We're used to people saying X, Y, and Z. But for somebody that's not in a business mm. and be shoved into your world. That's what I'm saying. Uh, yeah, it's a lot. It can be a little a difficult. Lot. Right. But honestly, Christian, he's been through a lot in his life. And he just, he's like, it's fine. So. Aww. You'll see some. Look how she's smiling, Chad. She happy, right? Oh. Some things are going to play out, but I think he, he handles himself very well. So, this means now that you engage, you won't be on there smacking women's anymore. Well, <laughs> you, I'm not a fighter. She's not fighting nobody. Mother. Oh, okay. I, I, don't, I don't watch yeah, the show. I'm not, I'm you not just look of... like you hit chicks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> She's calling, you a, she calling you a pretty thug. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm not that girl at all. I oh, have way no. too much to lose, so I don't. I don't well, protect your man because I don't want to see them throw no drink in his face because y'all get wild on them shows. You know they do like to throw drinks. Those girls really like. That's weird. Um, yeah. Who do you clash with the most this season? So here's the thing. <laughs> there are some oh. new girls on the show. I call them newbies, and so they come on the show, and I feel like they came on the show with an agenda to mm, maybe oh, go at the OGs because that's the way they think is going to secure their spot. And they're going about it totally the wrong, wrong way, yeah. because it's like, girl, none of us want to fight with you. We would actually embrace you, but they are coming for our heads. Why? Mm. Ugh, I don't like that, So, though. yeah, the new girls, that's who I clash with. Do you miss some any of, of the old girls? I do. I do. We have Evelyn back this season. So I was going to ask you about her. Like, where are y'all? I just love y'all together. Like, I just, I don't know. I know. What, what I is, know. So it's, is there any uh, thought of reconciliation just becoming no, we're, besties again? We're actually, we're actually in a really good space. Mm-hmm. And, you know, some things play out on the show, so I won't give that away. Okay. But what people don't understand is that before she came on the show, we were cool. Mm-hmm. But... We had conversations behind the scenes. There was no drama. It's not like, okay, our girl will go back to being best friends. No, but we can be cordial. So, you know, it takes time to rebuild relationships. So she going to get an invite to the wedding? (laughs) Am I going to get an invite to the wedding? Listen, if y'all want to come to Paris. I I don't want to come to the wedding. I ain't even going to lie like that. That's just too far for me to to be eating eating crackers. and I know, but I I can eat my crackers and salmon here. I see you when you get back. (laughs) Well, Jennifer, we're excited about your brand new documentary Monday, uh, November 6th at 8 p.m. And then the second part, uh, November 13th at 8 p.m., my true scam story. Uh, and, and this is more like of a public service announcement to people, mm-hmm. this entire documentary. Mm-hmm. Well, my purpose of this documentary was really to have an impact. And when I heard all the stories about what this man had been doing, mm. I said, you know what? I have to tell this story because if I save one person, I feel like I'm doing my job. And hopefully I've saved many more. Any kids in the future for you and Christian? Well, how do you know his name? She didn't say his name. Yes, she, she did. did. You just don't listen. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought she <laughs> See, said she was a, a Christian. Aw, a so, four-legged baby. All right. He's a teacup poodle. Oh, God. Okay. No, you have a dog. <laughs> yeah. but that's a, you got to have a doggy daddy now. We both. It's, Y'all got it's it together. It's both of our yeah. responsibility. There you go. 
see how that happens. I was like, babe, make sure you feed him, take no. him out. All right. So, yeah. What's the baby name? Rover. We call uh, him Roby. Not for the Range Rover that you lost. Oh, wow. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> That's the only way she going to get well, it back. I got one Rover. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. Well, congratulations. Good luck. Aww. We'll be watching my true scam story on VH1 this Monday, November 16th, and then second part, uh, November 13th, right before Basketball Wives on VH1. Good to see you, sis. Yes. Good to see you. Thank so you guys beautiful. for having me. Amen. We'll be back with more Big Ticket Morning Show next on V103.